all but one-tenth of one percent of the entire report? Approximately, right. yes. Attorney General Barr, has the President or anyone at the White House ever asked or suggested that you open an investigation of anyone? Um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, uh... Yes or no? Could you, could you repeat that question? I will repeat it. Yeah. Has the President or anyone at the White House ever asked or suggested that you open an investigation of anyone? Yes or no, please, sir. Um, the President or anybody else? Unfortunately, everything is political theater these days. So you have Kamala Harris, who is, you know, a leading candidate for president, doing what seemed like a really good cross-examination of the attorney general. Um, was that substantive or was that just for future uh, political newsreels? Uh, we don't know. Um, it's I think it's too early to know how this is going to play. And, you know, Democratic strategists are doing polling all the time. Uh, and we don't really know how that episode yesterday played. We don't know how those clips of Kamala Harris or some of the other people uh, play in various segments of the electorate. They may decide instead to subpoena other witnesses, such as Bob Mueller, find out whatever the nucleus of facts is that they're interested in, and then recall Attorney General Barr and say, okay, now you've got a chance to respond. And if you fail to show up a second time, I think then they would go forward with the contempt proceeding. I mean, technically, the House of Representatives has a sergeant at arms who is empowered to arrest someone who is held in contempt. That hasn't happened in 150 years, but it exists. Is that accurate? Did the special counsel review the president's taxes and the Trump organization's financial statements? I don't know. Uh, Eric Holder, the attorney general under Obama, was also held in contempt by the Republican then controlled House, um, and it didn't really seem to impede anybody's business. Um, it's an expression of deep unhappiness. Um, it is something that will be used in the future. Oh, that's the attorney general who's been held in contempt. You know, we don't know how meaningful these things can be politically versus substantively in the minds of the American public. I'm not sure that it has such a great impact. Your willingness to seem to brush over this and, and use words like the American people should be grateful. What's in this report? Nobody should be grateful. There's a lot of disagreement in the Democratic Party right now about what to do focus on the election and let the rest of this, you know, go away? Or is this a, just a sideshow that's distracting? Or is this something that we really need to take seriously? How will that affect our uh, candidate's chances? We don't even know who the candidate is. So uh, it, it's hard to say where this is going to go. I, you know, it, the letter's a bit snitty, and I think it was probably written by one of his staff people. Did you make a memorandum of your conversation, huh? Did you make a memorandum no, I didn't or did anyone memorandum. else? That Barr is a pretty uh, tough guy and he is ready to draw a line in the sand and say, this is not where I'm going to go. I'll go here, but not there. Uh, and I think we'll have to see how far the other political actors are willing to go to push that line. You know, with the Nixon case and with the Clinton case, uh, we ended up going to court. There were Supreme Court cases about what you could or couldn't compel the president to do. And I think we're not there yet, but those issues are now on the table pretty solidly. Uh, there were notes taken of, of the call. May we have those notes? No. Why not? Why should you have them? <laughs>